So, guys, uh, it has been a while since we have uh, recorded uh, a new episode and uploaded an episode. Uh, I think about a month. Yeah, about a month. Yeah, um, a lot has gone on. Ratu got married. Uh, I hey. got married. Hey. Uh, you know, we married to the game, baby. To the game. <laughs> to the game. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, what can I think on top of this? Uh, yeah, we're married. Yeah, we got kids. Yeah. Uh, child support's a mug. Uh, Honestly, on the way on the way home, I was thinking about like, what am I gonna say? How am I gonna intro it? And I was like, oh, married to the game. Married. But bef- but that wasn't my initial thought. I was gonna say, yeah, we got married to each other. You know that was that I was just gonna point to you and be like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot has gone on. Um, we've been busy. We've grown as people. I went to Vegas for a weekend, saw Bruno Mars. That show was dope. And we got upgraded to floor seats, which was crazy. How was that? Bro, it was... Let me tell you something. Breathing the same air. Bro, he could have sweated on me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I saw the sweat dripping down this man's face. He was close. <laughs> I've been to a lot of shows. Well, not... I've been to a good amount of shows. Yeah. Like, like there are other people out there, like Dalt, who's been to, like, every show and back. Yeah, yeah, Right? But, you know, I've seen Chris Brown in concert, Neo mm-hmm. in concert, Boys to Men. Some of, like, you know, our favorite, like, YouTubers. All well. hitters. You know, all hitters. Shout out to Chris Brown. Mm, <laughs> it still hurts. It still hurts. Actually, you want to, I've been watching a lot of, like, videos of Chris Brown's um, uh-huh. concert. And, you know, he's, there's a section where he's like, I have too many damn songs. I have too many damn hits. The way he does, he does he does this randomizer on screen. Oh yeah, I seen that with all his greatest hits. I seen and, like, that. Like whatever lands on, he starts singing. Uh-huh. I was like, yo, that's hot. Damn, I want to be there. Oh okay. <laughs> like I want to see that. <laughs> but um, I um, when you said it's a randomizer and like it shows like a, all his greatest hits, my mind went Rihanna's right there. <laughs> yeah, 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 like 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 I saw a picture of Rihanna like. Well, you want to know what's crazy about that whole thing? Uh huh. Is that I found out they got back together in like 2012, and they even did a song together for Rihanna's album, Rihanna's album, um, and like, like that one went decently well. I feel like I knew this part of the news, but that 2012 was like, yeah, 2012. No, yeah, 2012 was supposed was to be 11, the end of the world. It was 11 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> No, 12 years though. Sorry, sorry. No, but yeah. I'm just saying, like... No, yeah. I mean... I could barely remember what I did last week. <laughs> but I feel like I, I wasn't... Supr- I'm not surprised at that news because I feel like I knew it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, he did wrong. You yeah. Know, he did mess up. A lot of people mess up. Some people might, might scrutinize me for it, but I think let the man move on from the mistake. Which he has, you know? Yeah. But it's, it's just... I mean, people. I don't know. Has he had another abuse case? He's had his. All right, so back to Bro <laughs> Mars. Uh, no, that show is absolutely lit. Um, especially, like, we... I was telling Rod to this, like, a week ago, but... About a week ago. We bought our tickets, or Selena, my fiance, bought my tickets for, uh, like, the nosebleed section. Mm-hmm. When we bought the tickets, we couldn't pick a specific seat. Um, we just bought the section, and then they put us in... Uh, they put us in that section wherever. So... First off, I need to lead up. I need to build up this story. So this is uh, second day we're in Vegas, Saturday, day of the concert. Um, we went out earlier in the day, and uh, hot as balls. Like, it's hot now here in Cali. Yeah. But when we went out there, it was still, like, like mid-low 80s out here, right? When we were there, it was 107 degrees and humid as hell. I was. I was drinking my air. <laughs> it was I was so hot. It was ridiculous, right? But uh, we go out in the middle of the day, whatever. We go back to um, the the hotel, take a nap really quick, wake up. Concert starts at like like eight, basically nine o'clock. Um, we leave the hotel at like five. We're like, okay, cool, let's go eat. Then we could we could walk around, do things uh, at the uh, at the casino at MGM where, where the show was held, 
Where they have his soul. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where they own him. Elvis <laughs> 2.0 over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. That's a, that's a fact. That's stupid. basically what, what they're crazy, doing. It's crazy because you know he used to be an uh, Elvis impersonator as a kid? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, it, <laughs> Ma um, have the turntables. Bruno, stay away from the toilets, okay? You know? <laughs> We don't want another another show. Okay, never mind. So, we go out to eat. We're thinking, let's eat good. We're in Vegas. Normally, when That's I go out to Vegas, do. like, they got a lot of good food spots out there. You know what I'm saying? So, I was like, all right, let's go. Um, we go to uh, eat an all-you-can-eat sushi spot. Um, fire. Fire. I was in a uh, an elevated state. <laughs> oh, okay. <Yeah. laughs> I was like, was the third floor was on the fourth no, floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, I I don't think I've ever been this elevated ever. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, oh yeah, you just say that. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, well, let me let me tell you something. How I actually recorded my experience eating mm. eating the dinner. I tasted every single thing <laughs> on every single piece of sushi. I tasted like the burn of the wasabi in the back of the mouth. I tasted the saltiness of the soy sauce on the left side. I was I was like on one. <laughs> you knew where the fish came from. You've tasted their life. <laughs> he was killed 36 hours ago. <laughs> from Michigan. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Return the fish bag if I got it from Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want the shit. Oh, yeah, I'd honestly I'd be mad. But like it was absolutely amazing of a dinner. And you know when you go to all you can eat, you gotta get your money's worth. Definitely. Eat honest honest to God. You yes. gotta get your money's worth. We always go in with the thought of we're putting this place out of business. Yeah, yeah. It never goes down that way. The house always wins. The house always wins. Even even in all you can You can try. You can basically put them out of business, but who really won? (laughs) Yeah, who (laughs) Who really really won? won? Because now you're sitting there in agony. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'd take what if I inhale one more time, my my stomach's gonna just pop. pop. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like you like you don't want to even breathe because it hurts to breathe. But continue. So me and Selena eat. Fucking good. Well, we get done at like six. Concerts, what time? About nine. Okay. So we got three hours. We got we got time. (laughs) I'm sneaking a nap in. (laughs) We had just got done with the nap though. I I understand, but after that, I'm sneak. And you're elevated. Yeah. Oh, I'm sneaking a nap in. But that's a dangerous game. If I fell asleep. I don't think I would have made it to the show. That's why I don't think I, I, know, think, that, yeah. I think that was a dangerous game. Yeah. If I was in your shoes, if I was yeah. just taking a nap. So we're like, okay, let's just go to the casino. Let's go to MGM. We'll park. We'll go inside the casino, gamble a little bit, hang out before the concert. So, where was the sushi place at again? Um, it it wasn't it. It was off the strip. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was east of the strip. Um, off. I think it was off of Flamingo Road. Okay, okay. I was thinking like a sushi spot in like Vegas, like in like in like the city, like downtown. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it it's still in the city. It was like we're like two miles away from the strip. Yeah, but um, but like literally on the other side of the freeway, where all the strip malls are. Where like Chinatown is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Honestly, uh, we went to other places there too. Uh huh. Fire another time. Yeah, yeah. But uh, honestly, I love going to Chinatown in Vegas. That's where. The eats. Yeah. Eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so we leave the all you can eat sushi spot, we leave the restaurant, go outside, immediately hit with 107 degree weather and the hot air, breezy. I was like, jeez, man. Yes. This, yeah, suck. You, ever, you know when, you know, like when it's cold outside and you're warm and you go outside, you get the chill? It was the reverse of that. It oh, okay. was. I felt cool. Uh-huh. Immediately, fire. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it yeah, yeah. It's just burning hot. Yeah. So I was like, God damn. And miserable from eating all you can eat sushi. Walking to the cars, slump my ass in the car. Selena's like, I'll drive us to, to park. It's only a couple miles away. I was like, cool. Bet. Get in the car, close the doors. 
You know the car gets hot. It's probably like 120, 130 degrees in this motherfucking car. I, oh, I, the, <sighs> like, close the doors, turn the air on, and you know, it takes a minute for the air to get cool. I'm sitting there like, all right, cool. In my mind, this all happened within like five minutes. No. This, in actuality, was like 10 seconds. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he makes your day drag a little. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> so, like, I'm sitting there trying to get adjusted, trying to get comfortable because I'm full, you know, I'm fat. It's hot. I'm claustrophobic. Like, I was like, getting done. Selena, she's like in, seatbelt on, turns, like, yeah, pulls yeah. out. I was like, all right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I'm in, I need to breathe. I, just, I need to breathe, calm down. She's still moving. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Calm <laughs> she down. She's on the go. Calm down. We got to see program now. <laughs> we, ex- we exit the plaza real quick. Yeah. <laughs> real quick. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. The hot air stuck in, the, in the, <laughs> the passenger seat of a Honda Civic. <laughs> Everything. The combination of elevated, super full, hot, in the car. All that combined gave me anxiety attack. I immediately had claustrophobia. I was like, yo, pull the fuck over. Yeah. I need to get out the car. <laughs> And like a real one, she pulls into like the the fir- like immediately pulls into the first like like parking area we see. Yeah, it's a little strip like of of shops, and she doesn't go and do a, a regular parking. She yeah. takes up three spots. Yeah, yeah, and lets me get out. I'm like, all right, cool, fuck. <sighs> By this time, the air in the car is starting to get cold. Yeah, but I have to get out. <laughs> I have to get out because I just need to breathe. And it's hot as fuck outside still. Luckily, we moved like where we were. We were in the shade. But people from the strip, the strip shops, are like, what the fuck is going just on? Just looking at you. Like, what the yeah. going on over there? I was, there, I was like, wait a minute. I just, I, just, I just need to breathe. She was like, listen, we are a mile and a half away. I'm going to gun it. <laughs> I'm going to gun it so we can park. If we need to pull over again, I'll pull over. But I can't stay in this spot. Yeah. Spots. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, Selena, she's, she's a little timid, so she's yeah, like, yeah. I don't want these people staring at me. Let's go. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable or safe here. I would have caused a scene. <laughs> My baby's having a panic attack! My baby! You're, what's wrong with your friend? No! He's having the baby! <laughs> Breathe! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would have made the panic attack worse, but, you know, I would have caused a scene. <laughs> that has to be like... I would have walked away. <laughs> but, but she's talking me down. Yeah. And like it's helping. But in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to walk the mile and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get back in here. I was like, I can't get back in this car. So it's like, you're not walking a mile and a half. I was like, you're right. All right. Let's go. Full blast on. Air's working. I was like, cool. Just focusing on the horizon. <laughs> like, like literally from where we were, we could see the MGM. So I'm just like, all right, fuck it. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Get out the car. Cool. Done. Make it inside. Make it inside MGM. We see the Dolby Theater sign from the outside, so it was cool. We go in. Air's nice, whatever. Chilling. Start gambling. And by this time, it's probably like 6.30. Like, it, it, what felt like three hours to me was only like 15, 20 minutes is actually happening. So it's about 6.30. Um, We're gambling. We use restroom real quick. Try to... You know, get a little bit more comfortable, empty out the system. Nothing digested yet, though. So <laughs> that, That's going to stay stuck in your system for a cool, like... Hours. Hour, yeah, hours. Like six, seven hours. But yeah. it's going to drag. No, yeah, let me, when I tell you, we probably... You know, here, just circling back to the all-you-can-eat sushi. This is for any all-you-can-eat where you have to order in rounds. Why do we always order too much? Because it's it's like you let your stomach do the talking, and then all at the same time, the mentality is like I'm gonna get like that bang for my buck. You know what I mean? But yeah, you don't savor it. Like I I do it all the time. Like I tapped out by beginning of round two. <laughs> that that second round that comes in like yeah. beginning of round two. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah I'm wrong. ready, and it comes on the table, and I'm like. That's a that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> One, the- two, <laughs> seven, nine. Roll. See, here's the thing though. Because as you start going through it, and you're like, okay, okay. And then you look at it. It's like, oh, I'm halfway done. Yeah. Oh, I could eat a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. then when he comes by and says, hey, would you like to order more? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I will. Fill out that form. And then after that, it just it sits in your stomach, and it settles in, you know? You're like, 
you you finally be like, wow, I'm here. Yeah. And now I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Round three's here. Why did we order round three? <laughs> we should have waited. There's a sushi spot in Redlands that, before we go off. Um, but it's all you can eat. But there's always only first and second. Like, no one passes three. Oh, really? But if you Wait, want. Wait, this is the place that we went to? Uh, which one did we go to? It was me, you. No, not that one. Oh, okay. Not that one, not that one. But I think they might do that too. But you can get, you can ask for a new menu. But it's just oh. like most people never make yeah. it like a third or fourth. So it's just like a space saver. It's just big two columns, like one and two. Yeah. And I get that <laughs> because my, by the time I even hit round three, I'm just pushing it. <laughs> yes, I remember when we were able to push to round four. I can't even think of those times. That those was... were Jesus. <laughs> That was easily 12 years ago. Back in like 2012. Tw- yeah, when, when, when metabolism was existing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyways, circling it back. We're at MGM. We're gambling. We're seeing hella people come in. And I'm like... And like they're headed toward the Dolby Theater, the entrance, because we were gambling like right next to it. So we're like, oh, okay, okay. oh shit, all right, let's get in line. We get in line, uh, go through security. They give us like the, the security bags for the phones. You literally, you get to keep your phone, but they put it in a locked bag so no one can use it. You're supposed to turn it on silent or turn it off, whatever, during the concert. So, I understand why uh, some some artists do that, even like comedians do that. I mean, comedians I definitely understand yeah, because yeah. that's where they can test their jokes and stuff. And when they need to record it for the live, like recorded... Um, you know, they have all the material that hasn't been leaked out. I understand. We got our tickets. We're like, okay, cool. Top floor. We already knew that. Whatever. We go upstairs, like, up, like, three escalators or four escalators, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, we're like, all right, let's go see the seats because each floor had, like, their own, like, bar area. I was like, cool. We're going we're gonna, to um, go get, go check out the seats, and then we'll come back for drinks, whatever. Or I'll go get drinks, and she can just chill there. Um, we get up there, and we're like, okay row whatever dead ass last row <laughs> i was like all right whatever hopefully we're closer to the aisle no there's a there's a the stairs here the stairs here let's say there's like 20 to 30 seats maybe more in between like each row fucking right in the middle of it God, and i'm like and let me tell you something i'm a fat man you know i understand that i do when i tell you that these seats were so damn tight, I don't know how a normal sized person could be comfortable. <laughs> like, even Selena's not claustrophobic. Yeah. She sat down and was like, I feel claustrophobic. Yeah. I was like, fuck. And the the walk space for to get through the aisle tight. Tight. Like, if you're sitting down normally, your knees are touching the seat in front of you. Oh yeah, no. It's that fucking tight. Yeah, no, no. Like no, it's no. it's rough. And I'm not that tall of a person. I'm a, I'm five nine. You know, like my knees are touching the seat in front of me. <clears throat> so <laughs> we're both like, all right, let's just let's just go grab a drink, or relax out in the lobby area or like that bar area until the show starts. And Selena was like, can should I ask the 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 usher to see if we can get moved to like the aisle, like just same area but just next to the stairs i was like sure if you want to so well she does that i go use the restroom and i was gonna get in line by the time i got out of the restroom because the line was long she she was like oh, okay i talked to the usher she said she, she would ask her supervisor or whatever i was like all right cool and mind you i'm still coming down from the anxiety and the claustrophobia attack that i had in the car mm-hmm. so i'm sitting there like Fuck, I don't want to be the reason why I ruined the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, like, I was like, and I, I told her, I was like, I'm sorry if I can't sit in there. She was like, I can't sit in there. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's rough. But it's funny because where we were, it's hard to describe. Where we were, like, we're right next to the stairs, and there's a f- fat ass TV there. I was like, but where we were sitting, we were on couches. Yeah. It was nice. We were, like, leaned back. And I was like, you know, I'm not going to lie. If they played the concert right there, I wouldn't mind sitting right here. She was like, honestly, neither would I. I was like, yeah, okay, cause... well, we'll see what the Usher says. Usher, or uh, not Usher, because he was in Vegas, too. He <laughs> was there, too. <laughs> no. <laughs> but 
Um, Selena goes back uh, to ask her, or him, what, whoever the usher was. I think he's a guy. <laughs> but then know. again, in this generation, uh, you can't assume. He can't, you can't assume. Anything. Can't assume gender. <laughs> can't assume nothing. <laughs> so <Except> he's nuts. <laughs> but you know, she, she said, "Oh yeah, talk to the supervisor. Supervisor uh, is going to move us." I was like, "Okay, dope. We appreciate that." Um, Super like Selena comes back because she's the one that she went to go see the ushers. She's like, "They're going to move us. Let's go." I was like, "Okay, cool. Go over there." Uh, the supervisor's there. Uh, he's like, "All right, cool. We're gonna uh, we're gonna move you downstairs." I'm like, "Oh, okay, cool." I'm thinking last row downstairs. Fine. Yeah. Cool. Like I'm still about that. Wherever there's space. Yeah, wherever there's space. As long as I can be next to the aisle. Yeah. And I will be happy. Yeah, yeah. And I'm comfortable. Yeah. I'll be happy. So, um, he brings us to, um, like a separate area where. Where they're printing out tickets, but mm. it's like only for like people who are with like a supervisor or usher, or whatever. Yeah. So he's talking with them. He's like leaning back at us. He's like, "Yeah, yeah okay, we're gonna move." And like, "All right, yeah, you, we're gonna move you guys to the floor." <laughs> and we were like, "No, no, no, that's not what we asked for. <laughs> we just, we no, that's what no, that's way too much." It's like, no, 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 y'all go to the floor. But first off, you <laughs> get naked. <laughs> you want to see a star, don't you? <laughs> don't have to be one, but you want to see one, right? You, you just get naked. <laughs> so yeah, so we're like, nah, like we just want an aisle row. We can even go back upstairs. Like that's all we want. And then he was like, nah, we love doing this. I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. We got real quiet. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Don't more. Thank you, don't thank more. you. No, 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 no. Don't more. No, no. <laughs> <Don't> more. <laughs> So, when when this man walked us through, uh-huh. he walked us through like, like red rope through like like VIP like the, so, that I don't know how many people can fit in the Dolby Theater, mm-hmm. but there's a lot of fucking people. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't realize how big it was. So, because from the last row looking down, like looks small. It's it still looks small. Yeah, yeah. When we were down there and we turned around, we're like, holy fuck. This place is huge. We're tripping out. So, literally, very last row of the floor. Bruno Mars, when he comes out, is probably like 50 feet away from us. Mm-hmm. You know, again, I've seen so many shows. Not so many, but I've seen a good amount of shows. His entrance was fucking top tier. It was so good. Like... They have, they have music music playing on the speakers, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Occasionally, it'll get quiet and people start screaming. Be like, "Is he coming on?" Oh uh, no, it was just like someone trying to pick a fucking song, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like a bad DJ. <laughs> <laughs> DJ can't p- 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 pick a song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So his fucking entrance is top tier. Like music's playing, abruptly cuts, lights go down. Tonight. Gonna take you, huh? And it was ah, and then the veil is still up. Uh-huh. Pop pop, it's showtime. Before I work, I was like, oh fuck! Immediately on my feet, screaming. This shit was top tier. No backtrack, no lip syncing. All pure live vocals, his crowd control, his his stage like presence, presence felt live. Did, oh yeah, it was live. It felt alive. Yeah, yeah, it was so good of a fucking show. This man sang his ass off, and it wasn't a Silk Sonic tour, so he didn't. He, I think he did like one verse mm-hmm. of Silk Sonic. Um, at one point, but you know, out of, I think me, you know, me as a musician, out of respect for Anderson. my yeah, yeah yeah Anderson Pack at, for my co-artist on the song, I wouldn't want to perform without him. Yeah yeah exactly because so, that's what makes the song. You yeah know, exactly your, that that duo the other half or who, that other part that yeah. makes up the song slash the name exactly yeah yeah. So he wasn't with Silk Sonic. But he was with his band, the Hooligans. Yeah, they went through the fucking hits, and I was telling Rod too. I was like, you know, I'm a I'm a Bruno Mars fan, 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I didn't think I was that big of a Bruno Mars fan. When I tell you, I, I knew every fucking song that they sang, including from um, from his first album. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I, I sang every lyric. There were even songs of where like. Like, you know, me being musically inclined, where he was transitioning, I was like, I know exactly what's about to play next. And, like, like song after song, I was calling that shit. And there was a, there was a, a section where they started doing reggae. I was like, I swear to God, if they play Liquor Store Blues right now, I'm going to fucking lose it. <laughs> One shot for oh, my pain. pain. <laughs> I was Two like, shots for my side. I was like, let's fucking go! <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because where we were sitting, the one of the floor ushers was right behind us. Mm-hmm. And like, if there was ever an intermission, he was like, "You guys good? Checking in on us, making sure that we were comfortable and shit." I was like, "Man, like I felt bad, like that we got upgraded to these seats. Like, yeah. definitely blessed. Never, never had yeah, an experience yeah. like that." But he was checking in on us, making sure we were good. And then like he let us know, he was like, "There's gonna be an encore. Just stay." <laughs> I was like. <laughs> I was like, say less. It's like, 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 I should just be like, yeah, 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 yeah. You haven't even seen. <laughs> yeah, you ain't even seen what happened next. Oh, don't go anywhere. <laughs> so, if you can have a panic attack, don't do it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's funny because he told us that. Uh-huh. I started the chant for Encore. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, he was like, thank you, good night. <sighs> Lights kind of turned back on. I was like, ah, oh, God. Oh, and then everyone started chanting. I was like, let's fucking go. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. <laughs> and then he came out. Last song he played was Locked Out of Heaven. I was like, oh, my God. This, like, this fucking man. Is Boy. Oh, man. Bro, next time Bruno Mars is around. There's, has oh, he's going to be around for a cool minute. <laughs> no, no, he's going to be at MGM yeah. for a minute. <laughs> uh, shout out to his gambling problem. He's going to be at MGM for a cool minute. <laughs> What what did the news say though? It was like five hundred million or something. He'll, yeah, he owed um, a He has a lot. So um, during the show, he played he played fun at it. There's a little section. Um, I forget what song it was. He's talking on the phone. Oh, I was calling on my lovelies. Uh, so he does a little he does a little interlude. He's like, "Hey, baby, pick up the phone." I said, "Pick up the phone, <laughs> <laughs> girl." Ever since you heard, I owed them, I owed the casino some money. You, you ain't been calling me no more. <laughs> he was playing at it. I was like, that's just hilarious. So apparently he does owe MGM a lot of money. Not what was put all over the news. Yeah. It's still like like 50 mil or something. It's still a good amount. Still a good amount. Not as much, though. But, I mean, it's the amount that I would never want to I mean, be in debt to a freaking casino. <laughs> you know I have a few thousand dollars in debt. Yeah. I feel stressed about it. <laughs> I can only Millions. Millions. <laughs> I can't even be I can't even imagine being millions of dollars in I'm debt. I'm over here eating from McDonald's five dollar meal, be like, I gotta pay this one, pay that off. He's over here still eating at a freaking steakhouse. Man, he's at MGM. He's eating wild beef. beef. <laughs> <laughs> gotta play the stupid astro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but bro. 10 out of 10, Rick that's em. easily top three shows, and it ain't three. I, I, I wouldn't even put it at it wouldn't three even, nor two. Honestly, it's argue, it's, there's, there's only one show in my mind that I've gone to that competes, mm-hmm. and it's the Chris Brown show that I went to. But this was young Chris Brown before his second album, when oh. Wall to Wall was the single. Oh. Um before um what was the name of his second album exclusive yeah, yeah before that that album even came out and that was a fucking show and that one i was sitting in the nosebleeds yeah like i was i, I got the tickets for my cousin because he couldn't attend the concert <laughs> but it was either second to last row or the dead ass last row i yeah. think it was second to last row but even then i was that far away and still a amazing performance he actually he had he had hitters come out yeah he had, like little wayne come out he had <sighs> Joel santana come out like, yeah, those uh, those were the days. Like back in the day, <coughs> concerts were just like I'm I'm bringing homies. With me. Like they hey, they coming out. Yeah, they can the, one two song don't matter. Like come out for however long. Yeah, hell, if, even if you don't want to do a song, just yeah. be like, hey, come just be home. there. Yeah, yeah. Now it's not like that. Now, yeah, they, it just and I I kind of get it at the same time, but yeah, that's. Is a, it is what it what, is. What shows have you been to? 
so there's, Music scat child? There's the peep show. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Yo, music, I'm going to talk to you real quick. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully? Cut that shit out of your show. <laughs> we don't want to hear the scat and big dog. <laughs> Skip dab, 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 dab. No, okay. So so bap, bap, bap. For preference. Uh, tap, 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 tap. We <laughs> we went to a music soul child concert. It was me, you, me, Ratu, our homie Dalt, uh, his fiance, uh, Rocky, and my fiance Selena. Oh, and Fatima, Fatima and, and, her, and, and her man. Yeah, her man went as well. Was there anybody else that went? No, no. It was the seven of us. Seven of us. Yeah. So, uh, we were chilling. Well, we got there early. You guys got there before us. And we ate at that restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fire. Fixins. Fix. I remember. Boy. Boy. Them catfish nuggets. Man. Oh, you know, yeah, that shit pop. Honestly, I didn't know what to get. So I went off of Dolph's recommendations. He was like, you got to get the oxtail. Oh, yeah, the oxtail is, is fire. And, and the fried chicken. Oh, man, I'm so mad, though. I am so mad, though. Because I got the oxtail. And I wore that fucking light tan shirt. I had the yeah. one fucking stain. <laughs> I was so mad. And I was like, the one day that I wanted to wear this fucking shirt. I had to be a fucking slob. I think it's a, just a golden rule. Like, big, big people just can't be wearing white like that. You know what I mean? It wasn't even white. But you know what I mean? Like, I light know, colors. I know. It's very hard. I hate it. And if, if you do, I like, like wearing light colors. <laughs> I do too. It but if sucks. I do, it's going to be a light eating day. Yeah. And if I do eat, i be eating away from my shirt. You know what I mean? Like, that. <laughs> you doing that lean? That, that Squidward, you, you, you uh, that like Squidward bite of the Krabby Patty? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, I was so mad because the moment I realized I had it, I was like, fuck. <laughs> Celia looked over me and was like, why'd you wear this shirt? <laughs> I was like, like, I can't know. have nothing nice. I was like, I know. So then I wore my bag. I literally wore my bag like this the whole night. <laughs> right to the chest. Show was uncomfortable as fuck. And let me tell you something. You know, it, the venue wasn't what I expected. I, I, no, I, I expected that because like, I knew what the kind of vibe was. And for the price that you get, I was just like... Hey. How much were those tickets? 35 It was like, yeah, like 40 50 I think. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got standing floor seats. Yeah. Well, uh, the, whole, the seats. whole venue was just standing. Oh, they had, they had seats upstairs. Yeah, there was a balcony. We were underneath the balcony. Was there anyone in the balcony? I feel, I feel like there was. You know, I was elevated then, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think like everything that you paid for, it was just all floor oh i guess yeah, yeah, you know yeah. yeah all all the seats that we got were floor um first off was he late coming out no nah, uh, i think yeah i think he was just a little late because little, they had the djs they, they had the two djs no the, the they, yeah they did have two djs one of the djs sucks. in his defense He's had better sets. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You guys yeah, knew, yeah, you yeah, guys yeah, knew yeah, him. Yeah, me, me and Dollar were like, ah, uh. But still, it was the, the vibe was there. There was a time he was just trying to find his flow, but I'm not. Yeah. That, that's neither here nor there. No, he was struggling to find the flow. The whole concert was a struggle. <laughs> skip, 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 yeah. struggle. So, <laughs> Music Soul Child comes out, starts singing songs, We're like, dope, dope. Uh, play plays a, a couple of his classics and then after one of these songs he starts you know starts scatting i'm like okay cool cool and i'm there i'm just vibing listening at some point i was like when's the next song <laughs> you know what's funny was like i remember dying down from the vibe and then i was just like what is he singing <laughs> <laughs> i remember taking off my glasses and i was just like is this motherfucker scatting? <laughs> I swear to God, dude. I was like, I was like, what is happening? He literally went on and, and scatted. He for he went on a skint, a scatting a, vent. A scatting he vent. scatted for yeah, a good thirty minutes, at least thirty, at least thirty minutes, bro. And then started talking about personal problems to get the crowd going. Like, I get it. You know, like, come on, girls. You know, when guys do this, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And he goes, yeah, this song's about them. Skip down, dude. <laughs> it's funny because I, I thought it was me. Again, I was at an elevated state. Mm. I was just there, eyes closed, <laughs> leaning, just vibing, enjoying the music. And I was like, man, this is taking a little too long. 
And I'm looking around like everybody else is thinking the same damn thing. Like you can see on everybody's face, everyone else is thinking the same damn thing. And then Dalt was like, play your old shit. Dalt, Dalt put it on his phone. Oh, he was yeah. like putting it right here. Just say, like, play your old shit. <laughs> that shit had me dying. That shit had me dying. But through that concert, I think I told you like the day after. I was like, you know, I don't think I'm as big a fan of Music Soul Child as I thought I was. Because I didn't know more than half of his set. Yeah, I think there was like a good like five songs. Yeah. Four to five songs. Mm-hmm. Sang our heart out. Great vibe. Mm-hmm. Which made up most of the content. Like, I remember that I would want to remember. Yeah. Everything else was just was like, we're kind of, at least, like, I was around you guys to, like. Yeah, get us keep, through. Yeah, get us through. Keep the vibe going. If I was, like, on a, like, like a date, you know. I'd be mad. I'd be. If it was just, if I took a date there. I'd, I'd be, be pissed. livid. I'd be pissed. I would absolutely be pissed. If it, if it wasn't the group of friends. That, yeah. If it wasn't us. Yeah, yeah Even yeah. if it was a different core group, I think I'd still be mad. I think I'd be mad with the core group. Like, yeah, I can't think of another core group <laughs> yeah. that, that would appreciate a Music Soul Child concert. Yeah. I think that's why I went with, like, with y'all and made sure, like, you, like, you got that invite and, like, we were all there. Yep. But, yeah, I think, like, if it was anything else in any other situation, I'd be hot. I'd be hot. I absolutely live. It. But I think you told me it was his new album. Yeah, he had, like, a new album, and I was just like, okay, well, he better not play most of this. No, yeah, I think he played the whole goddamn album. <laughs> he played, like, three or four of them, like, that I was just like, uh. See, okay, the only songs that I remember him playing that I knew, and I sang my heart out to, of course, Just Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love. Yeah. And So Beautiful. There was one more. I think he said, I just want to sing. I just want to sing. I remember that one. Sunny? So Sunny? Is, no. There, there was another one, but I forget. I forgot to. Like I said. Oh, uh, what what is the name of the song? Na, 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 I can't even think I'm of the lyrics. Look it up right now. I'm looking up right now. I'm looking oh up my right god! Now. Yeah, this is how I know I'm not that big. Of the, this is how this is like I, I I I know I wasn't like, like up there with him, but like I'm still gonna go for the vibe and I'm gonna sing my heart out for Just Friends. You know? Oh, absolutely! No, no. When that came on, when that, honestly, oh, bro, you got a video of me when he was like, "Everybody beatbox," doom, 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 doom. and then you got right in my face in that video, and I was like, "Ew!" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "That's what I look like." <laughs> Plus, I was, I was, I was cross elevated. I was like, "Oh no!" Look at all this new shit that I want to see. I don't want to see any of this. Yeah, he play, he probably played all of that. He did. He probably played all of that. He did play. He he played like his like five greatest hits. Yeah. And then yeah, that was. And then his whole new album. You know, if I, I probably should have realized that he he had a new album. I always usually when like when an artist kind of like does like something in regards of like be out when it comes to a tour and whatnot. I always look up like, oh, does this person have an album coming out? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I should have known. Like when Justin Timberlake did his uh, Tiny Desk. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I was just like, it's like I wonder. And I looked it up. I was like, oh yeah, he does have one coming out. And then I remember a lot I of think people. He did the Tiny Desk like. I think. Oh, actually, I think the Tiny Desk was released shortly after the album dropped. Yeah, because I remember a lot of people liked it, and they were like, "I don't like that he played that one song. Like he should just play this." So I was like, "You guys gotta understand. Like he's." He has to let y'all know that he has a song coming out. Yeah, uh, his album coming out. So he yeah. has to. He only threw in one song. Yeah, I wouldn't. Be, I wouldn't have been mad at that. I was even mad at it at all. Yeah, no. I mean, and even if I was there in person, I would have been, been mad at it. Single, uh, selfish. It's, yeah, it's it was not that bad. bad. Honestly, my favorite song on the album is um, "Drowned." Drowned was good. That's my fucking. Drowned that's my good. shit. I had it on repeat for like a month. <laughs> But uh, but like if you took up the tiny desk performance and played all of your like <laughs> like no yeah he'd be there for three hours not all of it but if you play like if you took four songs and it took up your whole tiny desk performance and you only played like two or three of your old songs oh, cool classic yeah I'd be mad I'd, I'd be, be like I'd be pretty mad I don't want to hear this yeah so I, I you know like with the whole music soul child I was just like I get it but regardless with the group that I had it, it was still you know what what you just said is the is the exact same thing that happened to Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, he did his Tiny Desk right after um, that album, uh, his most recent album came out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that had Hold On and uh, Peaches and Yummy. Oh, yeah, that was the one uh, technically at home because it was during COVID. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was mad because I didn't get to know a lot of 
that album yet. So when he did it, I was like, man, I wish he, I honestly wish he did more stuff from, from his Believe album, from, from Journals, mm-hmm. from, from uh, the My World albums. But I think a few months ago, after, you know, I've listened to the songs and I've gotten to know a lot of them, I went back. I was like, oh, man, this Tiny Desk was actually dope. Yeah. Like, it was good. But at the time, I didn't appreciate it because I didn't know the song. It's, it, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I get that. I get that so yeah. I feel like, in hindsight, if we had listened to the album and enjoyed it before going to Music Soul Child's concert, we probably would have had a better time. But if you looked at the room, nobody was there for his new album. <laughs> I can tell you right now, you look around, and nobody was singing along with the mo- <coughs> Now, they no, were yeah. swaying, because obviously, like, it's a concert. You want to vibe. But not after scatting for 30 minutes, big dog. Yeah. You want to know what's funny? I told you. I told you. Because there was a period of time where Music Soul Child gave up on R&B. And he became a rapper. And oh, his yeah, rap name that. was Hustle. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hustle with the S as the dollar sign. And I was like, I don't want to hear any of that rap shit. <laughs> like, I love rap music. I was like, I don't want to hear any of that. When that was his last fucking song. We booked it out. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the, he he probably could have more songs after that, but when he started rapping, we're like, all right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> music, again. No, no, no. I yeah. do love your music. No, no, no. I'm a, no, I am a no fan. Music, music, great. Hustle. Hustle. Gotta go. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're not hustling hard enough. <laughs> Just sing. <laughs> Just sing. <laughs> yeah, that show's good. All right, this podcast did go on long enough. Uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, I'm going to force Rod to record six of these bitches in a row. <laughs> Let's do it. No, I'm playing. We're only going to re- record a couple. But thank you guys for watching the Bear of the Bros podcast. Uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe for more content. Give us a thumbs up and let us know what you want us to talk about in the next podcast. Anything else you want to add? Hi. I like baked potatoes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, y'all.